Universal. So fun when you stumble upon a really beautiful view. original plan today was that we were going to go to Chateau Chambord, if I'm saying that right. We're staying in um, St. Germain La Fouette. I, I'm probably butchering that. Oh well. well. Um, from the main town of Blaus. From the main town of Blois. Blaus, where we came in on the train. But we realized it's pretty difficult to get transportation around here. Um, Everything's closed on Sunday, of course, and so we were going to rent a car this morning just to kind of solve our problems, but the car rental places are closed, which is hilarious. Um, we haven't seen a taxi here except for one since we've been in, and then when we decided we're not leaving the city today, we're going to see the local chateau, Chateau Bois, Blas. Um, we saw three taxis, of course, which is hilarious. And we're very close to everything uh, in terms of a geographical location. Seven miles from one chateau, two miles from another, 12 miles from one, which is so close in terms of the center of France. So we're here for the castles and the chateaus and the mansions and the gardens. That's why we're here for the week. That's why we're here. So uh, we're going to get to see some and uh, we're going to see the local one today, solve our transportation issue. I would say it's underlying issue and it's a, um, I don't know, it's a tension in our marriage. Um, so, you know, I'll make it through. It'll be fine. It's okay. Get the girl a car. She'll be okay. So there is a nice little grocery store that we're next to though. And a couple of fun little eateries, you know, of course they only open at 7 PM, but, um, I was surprised though. I was like, oh, good for you guys. Good for you. So we're gonna check out a chateau today and um, see what's up. This is one of the fun ones in the area. There are 103, I guess, or more. Um, we're gonna probably hit up maybe two or three, uh, four, maybe, for you guys. Only found on Jeremy and Allie's YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Nice. It's pretty. Guys, I'm gonna be okay. Thanks for thinking of me. Oh, here it comes. dedicated museum uh, that considers magic a, a contemporary art. Oh, they're dancing now, babe. They're doing the dance. fun to wander around uh, the popular places and the places that, you know, aren't as popular. 
because you're going to end up some, with some gems. I mean, we're in the center of France, like six or seven French kings lived here. And uh, it's not even on your, your typical like TripAdvisor guide is some of the main places to see because there's just so many wonderful things to see. I was just talking to Allie about this. You know, the chateau we just saw, it, if it was in the United States, it would be the number one destination. But because it's here, it's in competition with all the other chateaus, it's probably like number 34. Fascinating. Okay, we are not gonna get lost in here, as I have an iPad with blueprints to tell me where to go. Pretty fascinating. We have an audio guide too for three bucks. We got the House of Magic. Yeah, surprise for you uh, coming up. Can't film the show, but we're gonna film some of the really cool little inventions from a um, guy from 1805 that inspired uh, a lot of Harry Houdini's work, I guess, which is really fun. Right across the street, that's where we saw the dragons. Um, but welcome to the Chateau of Bois. If a chateau happens in my stead somehow, you know, I don't know, um, I would like my symbol to be the porcupine. Just like um, Louis, King Louis, no, not King Louis, Louis the Seventh. Is it XII -I, or do you subtract the I's with the X? If you do IIX, then it's subtraction. If you put them after the X, right, it's addition. So is it the 12th or the 7th? XII, yeah, 12th. No? 12th after. Okay, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. XVII is 47. It's add. You add them if it's after the X. It's 12th, Louis the 12th. Here we go. If you ask me, babe, that was spoken like a true introvert. He wanted to prove a point that he could have protection with the porcupine quilt, but you're just like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I think it's really a good idea to kind of pick an animal. I remember doing that when I was a kid, and I don't know what age I was when we really stopped. Like, if you were an animal, what animal would you be and why? Like, somehow the kings of the old time, they carried that with them, and they were proud of it. And now today, if you try and tell people what kind of animal you feel like you are on the inside, they're like, grow up but I don't know what animal would you be tell us in the comments this is fun also I would like to clarify that we are not having marriage issues it's just you actually can't get to the chateau without significant planning and or a car and I also don't really like remote places but that's beside the point <laughs> guys from Star Wars. This is how I try to do my uh, facial hair sometimes. That's what I look like when I wake up in the morning. This is me without coffee. I'm Allie Rose. On this episode of Escape to the Chateau, we will be taking you through the beautiful region of France. I think it's called the Loire Valley, and we're going to be showing you four or more chateaus, and your job is to decide which one you will live in. This one has been restored many times throughout the years, so it does have that positive feature going for it, equipped with trash cans and fire extinguishers. Chateau's got a lot of history. There's a lot of French kings that actually lived here too. This place, come with me, has over 500 bedrooms. Pretty fascinating stuff. And over 58 staircases, including this one. Look at this. Wow. So beautiful. Look at this. Now Joan of Arc actually has a lot of history here too, and in another city we're going to be visiting in France. Brian, is it emotional? <laughs> Always. You guys know my eyes are the most sensitive, and I got something in it this morning like three hours ago. <laughs> Apartments. I love the 
the tapestries. This was the, the main symbol, the salamander with fire. He was preventing all the bad stuff from happening. Where's the bust? Let's look at the wallpaper. Medieval staircase. It's integrated into France's new quarters in construction. The new quarters. That's the staircase on the other side. Piece of furniture, and it was never used. But to reflect the kingdom's financial power, when I see that piece of furniture over there, I'm thinking powerful. So learning what I did about the history of this chamber and the queen, I would say, you know, it would feel a little weird. I might have to pass on this chateau. Again, with the social norms, it's really funny. So in this day and age, we just learned from our handy dandy iPad that the king would eat dinner alone. Table for one. Nowadays, if you eat dinner alone and get a table for one, sometimes people look at you kind of funny or people assume other people are looking at you funny, which isn't really the assumption. I don't mind eating on my own and going to places on my own, but a lot of people have like some kind of, what's the word, stigma about it. But if it's good enough for the king, it's good enough for me. We're gonna know our animal and we're gonna eat however we wanna eat. It's an important place, guys. Important place. Imagine 500 years ago, this was where you wanted to be. We were in the White House, in France. Pretty interesting to think about. They're all running around with their, um, their body armor, their steel armor, protect themselves. It's really fascinating. You gotta protect the toesies. Protect them. Uh, grab the little stick. Little sash. What do you think? Is that what she's gonna look like? Is that a boy or a girl? What? How do you ask that? Oh, Kids these days. <laughs> uh, I can't say. That's the future king. That was a boy. Got me. Can't tell anymore. I told you this, it's Europe. I, I was saying, okay, tell me. What are your words? And and King Louis didn't say anything. I was, you know, hoping for he, she, them, they. Didn't get anything. So. King Louis over here. survived the time period because it got moved so much it went with them everywhere that's what that's why you had the big huge uh, chess um, what's that brand that makes those those old ones Louis Vuitton Louis Vuitton chess crates it's because it went with them everywhere they had to bring their luxurious life with them secret door I love secret doors who doesn't like secret doors? They're like so fun. Ooh, nice. It's a secret, secret, uh, little, all these doors closed. That's a selling point. If I were to buy a chateau, I'd want it to have secret doors. Secret doors, of course. Come over here, you go tap, tap, and then before you know it. It reminds me of a time when I was in Moose Jaw, Canada. And there's a fireplace, much like this fireplace, the size of it. And um, 
Al Capone had a little foot pedal or it was a hand pedal and the fireplace would open and that would go into the in underground cellars where they could escape. So kind of reminds me of this place a little bit. This is her private workroom. This was it? Oh, crap. Okay, let's that look up how cool. evil she was. So this is her private little workroom? Yeah. I think Atlas Obscura really does say it the best. It says that, and I quote, mm, She was the original evil stepmother, ultimate meddler in the affairs of her children and therefore the matters of state, and notorious for the mysterious yet convenient deaths of her enemies. We're in the king's chamber. Came up a small, very small little spiral staircase from the queen's chamber. And uh, we're gonna check this one out. It is amazing how much of our wardrobe is chosen for us by the culture of the time. Case in point. Like if I tried to wear this today, or if Jeremy tried to wear this, he'd be laughed at. But back in the day, culture said this was cool. This was the coolest thing you could wear. Which, you know, something to be mindful of. 1570 wheel lock pistol. Look at that thing. Wow. I'm not sure if the steel body armor does any good when the guns were invented. So, Maybe. So the queen had a poison room and the king had a weapons room. The daggers were one of the sneaky ones. Yeah. This is an introvert thing. His dining table with barriers. Probably because the queen had so much poison. <laughs> Henry the Third had barriers made so he could eat in private by himself. <laughs> He's for sure an introvert, trying to stay away from his poisonous wife. <laughs> nice balcony suite. Beautiful. Beautiful. The assassination of Duke. If you want to learn to learn more about her, scan the QR code. Apparently, you can learn or something. Spiral staircases are just more fun. So we're now in the Great Hall, and obviously that idea was stolen from Harry Potter we all know. They used to eat here and thinking about that is honestly making me a little bit hungry. Probably want to get a snack soon because it's like one. It's really beautiful though. Apple. It's 
not a real castle if it doesn't have a chapel. Not a, not a European castle if there's no chapel. Dearly beloved, we gather here today on YouTube to witness two young Americans exploring the world. Are they doing it for themselves? Are they doing it for the divine? Or are they doing it for us? That is the question. Any of you object? Speak now or forever hold your peace and you will be removed from the comments. These are mine. These are yours. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't like soft cheese at all. <laughs> Similarly, this is mine. I like I This like is yours. <laughs> okay, we had lunch and it sucked. And the service sucked, so we're not going to tell you about it. Probably won't even include it because we went down into the town and ate and I wouldn't recommend it. It's interesting here. Someone I know very well, won't name names, told me that sometimes uh, the Frenchies are um, a little tough to deal with. They've kind of got their own little standard, their own little world, uh, including the hospitality industry. You go to like a restaurant, like the two we went to today, and then it's like the, the owners or the waitresses or the waiter's way, and that's it, and they don't care about you. I'm just now starting to experience that. I got a little treat in uh, Bordeaux, I guess, uh, for the most part, and then here we are. And it's like, we, we sat and had coffee this morning. Ali ordered a cappuccino, or uh, not a cappuccino. Ali ordered a doppio uh, espresso, and the girl's like, go go somewhere else. <laughs> and I'm like, um, excuse me? And she's like, you're not ordering food. I'm like, I, we're not done ordering. It was so funny though, it was like, okay you're fired and then we went to lunch and then we sit down because that's kind of the thing you do nobody's there waiting like to host you and then we sat down and then they moved us because they said the table needed to be reserved for a big a larger group which is like okay it's fine if it's like pretty full but it wasn't and when we left it was half full so it was like pointless but we asked for our check and then the guy's like okay and then he goes on a smoke break and we could see him the whole time. He's just like, okay, it's like, ugh, rub your wrong. And then the food, obviously, you gotta get the right food. So it's interesting, very interesting.